hello you special family welcome to my channel and this demo we will see uh, how to segment an image on arcgis pro in order to uh, classify our satellite or aerial or photograph uh symmetric uh, image so uh, here in arcgis uh, pro uh, help uh, websites we can see uh, what does image segmentation mean and the steps or process of image segmentation and the parameters that we will need uh, to use or uh, that we need to understand before segmenting our image so uh, open your arc js uh, pro and add your uh, image whether it is high resolution satellite image or aerial photo in this tutorial i'm going to use this uh, satellite uh, aerial photograph which is 0.3 by 0.3 rest special resolution so i'm just trying i will try to classify an image <clears throat> classify this image by using object oriented or image segmentation method so uh, before classification we need to uh, convert this image into segments so segmentation do uh, grouping of pixels into uh, into segments or uh, into uh, image objects segmentation because it will provide an appropriate an approach to ex uh, extracting features from imagery based on objects and uh, these objects are what created via an image segmentation process where pixels in close proximity and having similar spectral character keys are grouped together into segments so uh, segmentation do uh, the grouping of pixels which is close proximity and having similar spectral characteristics into uh, similar groups so segment segments exhibiting criteria shapes spectral and uh, spatial characteristics can be further grouped into uh, similar object so uh, 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 pixels those have certain shapes spectral and the spatial characteristics can be grouped into uh, one object and the objects can then be grouped into classes that represent real world feature on the ground whether it is man-made or uh, natural features so uh, image segmentation exhibits or it um, creates a group of pixels which is super pixels by considering the spatial and the spectral characteristics of our uh, pixels on um, image so um, having saying this come back to your arcgis pro and uh, select your image go to uh, imagery and from this here we have uh, classification wizard this is the workflow that needs uh, to that help us to classify the image before uh, coming here we have to create a segment of image so we need to uh, group neighboring pixels together based on their similarity to create objects that are then used in image classification so select this image uh, segmentation tool uh, in this window we have three parameters the first one is spatial detail and it ranges from uh, 1 to 20 and it depends on the spectral um, characteristics of pixels so here uh, in arcgis <coughs> help tool spectral detail means uh, valid value range from 1 to 20 a spectral statistics value and the higher value is appropriate when you have features you want know, to classify separately but have somewhat similar spectral characteristics so if our pixels or if the uh, image or our image has similar uh, characteristics we need to use higher value of these spatial details so a smaller value of these spatial details uh, results in more smoothing and the longer processing time so in order to save your processing time you need to take a smaller amount of the spatial spectral detail and for example 
if we uh, higher spatial details value is uh, in forester scene will uh, result in great discrimination between different tree canopy so tree species so if you want to delineate different tree species you can use highest value of this spectral details so uh, in my case i will try to use uh, <coughs> about 10 for this image because as you can see the spectral characteristics of these pixels are varying and the spatial details uh, it, uh, this one considers the proximity of pixels it values also ranges from 1 to 20 and the higher value means uh, appropriate for uh, a scene where your features is uh, feature of interest are small and closed together so if you have pixels of similar or closed clustered uh, pixels you need to uh, use highest value of these spatial details in order to discriminate these closed uh, pixels for example a small value creates a spatially smoother outputs this one uh, if you use uh, a small amount of spatial details it will create a smoothed output, a spatially smoothed output. For example, in urban scenes, uh, you could classify impervious surface features using a smaller spatial details value, or uh, you could classify buildings or roads as a separate class using what? Higher spatial details. So, I, as you can see, buildings and the trees, uh, buildings and the roads are. So they may have uh, similar or spatial details so you can use the uh, highest uh, amount of this spatial detail in order to uh, discriminate a building and the roads so for this one i'm going to use again 10 and uh, i will keep the minimum the segment size to 20 uh, tells as this uh, factor affects the number of segments and this parameter is directly related to your minimum mapping unit and the segment is smaller than this unit or this size are merged with their base defeating the neighbor segments so in the, this major uh, minimum segment size is it is unit is in pixels so uh, it, depending on your size, size of your image pixels you need to provide <coughs> maximum or minimum segment size so I'm going to use 13 and uncheck this one I'll specify your output location and then run yeah this is the output which is segmented image so your image is mm, clearly segmented then after you can use this segmented image for image classification in the next tutorial we'll see how to classify our image by using this uh, segmented image so uh, thank you for your time mm, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i need you to uh, suggest and comment on my channel or my work in order to improve my uh, next videos. so thank you again uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel